Frank, there's a Mr. Jessup on line one that says it's about the Chicago requisition. Yeah, Denise, let him on through. Jessup, how are things going in the Windy City? Well, to tell you the truth, Frank, things aren't going very well up here. Landing says he thinks he'd like to sit on it a while. Give it some more thought before selling the property. Run it through some huh, other channels. What? That lousy, backstabbing, two-faced jerk. I am going to rip out his heart and I'm going to shove it down his other channels. I don't care what you have to do. Frank, there's a Jerry Wilson online too. He says you asked him to call you this morning about some kind of something that you were going to do at church next Sunday. I didn't know you went to church, Frank. Is this guy pulling my leg? Want me to get rid of him? Uh, Denise, no, nah, no. Nah, uh, just hold on one second. Uh, Jessup, Jessup, I'll be right back with you in a second. Uh, Denise, let him through. I'll, I'll see what he wants. Jerry, how's it going, brother? I'm doing great, Frank. It's a great day to worship the Lord. Amen. <laughs> I hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. No, no, I was just doing a little light reading and uh, finishing up a little deal that's going on in Chicago. Well, you sound like you got your hands full. Uh, maybe I should call back. No, don't be silly. God's in control, is he not? We're on his time but I do have something going on the other line, so I'm going to have to put you on hold for a minute, and I'll be right back at you. I don't care what you have to do. You get him back in on this deal. I am not going to lose this one. If I have to come up there, he is going to regret it. And I need... Wait. Hold on a second. God bless you for holding, uh, Jerry. I just had something going on the other line on no that problem. Chicago deal. Said call today and let me know which verse you chose to read during your testimony on Sunday. I, I need to get you past the Jones. Yeah, that's right. That that's exactly what I was reading up on. I was reading in the Testament, uh, the Old Testament. <laughs> no, no, New New Testament. There's this certain scripture I got that uh, it just keeps me still and focused. And can you hold on for a second, Jerry? Okay. Did you tell him that he signed a contract with me? Did you put that little piece of information in his stupid, stinky, fat, lying face? Uh, I'm sorry, Frank. What's that? <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. I was just giving you a little example of how I used to be. Uh, <laughs> that's why this scripture is so important to me. But for some reason, I can't seem to find it here, so I'm going to have to put you on hold for a second while I handle that. Jessup, I'll be right back with you so we can talk about that deadbeat loser. Hold on. All right. It's in Acts 19.36. You ought to stay calm and not do anything rash. Do nothing rash? What do you mean? Keep calm. I'm calm. Do I sound calm? Was, Frank, was that the Bible? <laughs> Jessup, 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 no, of course not. Act. He's acting like he's 19, but he's, he's 36. He's acting 19. I, I'm going to sick my lawyer on him, and when he's done with him, he's going to be begging me to take that property off his hands. So what do I tell him now? Tell him, tell him. Tell him, um, hold on. All right, Jerry, it's Acts 19.36. Oh, yes, you know it well. That, that's great, Frank, especially for people like yourself in the cutthroat business. Stay calm. That's good. That's good. I, I like it. You truly are an inspiration to us all, Frank. I thought maybe you could pray with me over the phone here, if you have it. See what God says to you. Pray, yeah, sure, of course. Of course I'll pray. That's exactly what we should do in a situation like this. Hold that thought for a second. I'll be right back. Jessup, when, when I am done with him, you tell him this. When I am done with him, he is going to be on his knees begging me for mercy. Write that down. 
on his knees. Hold on. All right, let's, let's get this prayer going, Jerry. Father, we are on our knees thanking you for the investment you've made in our life. This binding contract has been sealed and signed in blood. We are your property. Guide us through our trials. Deliver us from evil. And don't let us procrastinate and run things through other channels. Let us give this to you, and you to us, and them to you, and us from them, and, and God bless everyone. And watch over everybody who's in Chicago. Amen. Uh, amen. Okay, well, thanks, uh, Frank. Uh, everything okay there, buddy? Just dandy. Dandy as candy, as my father used to say. Okay, well, I'll see you soon. God bless. God bless you too, brother. Jessup, you still there? Did that idiot secretary lose you? Jessup? Oh, I'm sorry, Frank. It's the idiot secretary. I'll just be leaving now. My husband and I are having dinner with his parents this evening. Oh, you may know the pastor and Mrs. Jones. I'll tell them you said hello. Good night, Frank. Oh, and God bless. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs>